Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com and this is Let Me Bore You to Sleep. I think this is number 21. So I haven't done one of these recordings for about five or six days. But I'm here and I'm doing one now. I've just been busy doing other stuff. Because oh chair really needs to be de squeaked. Anyway, my name is Jason Newland, and the whole point of this session is that I will just be talking. That's it, just me talking. There may be background sounds, there may be, I don't know what kind of sounds, hopefully you won't hear my laptop in the background because I've put the lid down on that. I can hear the fridge buzzing away in the kitchen. Sounds a bit, bit buzzy, like a quite a, quite a quiet buzz, like a very I don't know. I was going to say like a mouse's vibrator, but you know, I'm just saying it's very quiet. The television is a bit weird because I've just turned it off, and it makes not moaning noises, but it just makes like cracking noises. So I don't know why. I think it's just a bit of a rubbish television, but. I'm pleased with it, not not pleased with the noises, but so, so I think it's a 32 inch television, which suits me okay. I could do with a larger television, making like 50 or 60 inch would be nice, but you know, never happy with the size, could always, you know, always like something a little bit bigger, but. That's okay, I'll be alright for now. I don't really have the money to buy a new one. And, yeah. And I don't live in like a big, massive room. So I don't need binoculars to see the television. I, you know, I'm fairly close enough to see it. However,. Yeah, it's getting worse, isn't it? Things are, I'm, I'm laying back. You know, I'm reclined in the chair, which is fine. But I don't always want to be reclined. I want to be able to lean forward if I need to. You know, if I need to have a drink or maybe check the time as well, you know, to see how long I've been talking for. Because, you know, even, even for me, sometimes it seems to just go on forever. <laughs> it seems to just, uh, what am I talking about? I just, I'm still talking. Oh, you know, that kind of thing, but, so I was thinking of ways to raise a little bit of cash to cover the costs of making these sessions, the cost of the podcasts and, you know, 
website and all that stuff. So I was thinking maybe I could do some kind of sponsorship where you could sponsor a show or a maybe not one show but maybe you know you could pay make a donation you know pay a certain amount and then I can mention you and your business and your website or whatever you have services you have to offer or you know a month or something like that I don't know just thinking about it but you know if you do want to support me then go to my website just click on the support me button in the menu and that will help me out because if I can get some help in paying for the podcasts that would be really helpful See this, um, I have these Let Me Boy You To Sleep sessions on SoundCloud, Podomatic, and on Spreaker, plus they shared on other podcasts, but they're the three that I actually pay for, so Spreaker costs me about $20 a month. Automatic costs me about 20 24 dollars a month and SoundCloud costs about eight that's really about ten dollars maybe eleven dollars a month something like that and then the website costs me about 20 plus dollars a month. 25 something like that anyway because I pay in pounds because I'm I live in England so all kind of bets up so I don't know if that's anything that you'd be interested in doing or if you just like to support me to continue you know to do this to pay for the podcasts because I had to financially I had to delete and cancel some of my podcasts a couple of weeks back through lack of money and it was a bit of a shame because I lost an audience I lost the audience I had on with Spreaker because I the audience is on iHeartRadio and Spotify and I lost the audience on Podomatic although the new podcast I created yesterday has already had nearly a thousand downloads so that's fairly good but uh, the only one I've got on Podomatic now is the sleep sessions which includes these ones as well So if, if it's supporting me is something you'd like to do, then that'd be brilliant. So, I only listen to this or watch this if it's on a video. Because I've got a YouTube channel, Jason Newlands Hypnosis Videos, or no, Jason Newlands Sleep Hypnosis. That's the YouTube channel. And it's a fairly new channel. I've got 34 subscribers at the moment. But that'll grow if I continue to produce sessions. And what else? Oh, I'm also, all of my videos are on Vimeo as well. So it's vimeo.com 
forward slash Jason Newland. And I've got, you know, what, I think seven, eight hundred videos on there, something like that. So it's quite a few. So yeah, this is just me talking. And somebody, you know, it's like I forget people's names. It's not. It's not just that I forget people's names. I saw somebody on the bus the other day, and she looked familiar, but I didn't. I didn't. I couldn't figure out who she was or where I had seen her before. I think she's one of the local dog walkers. I don't mean she walks a dog for a living or anything like that. It's not her job. But I think she has a dog. And I sort of say hello to her. But because she was out of context. And she didn't have a dog with her. And she was on a bus. I didn't recognize her. I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't sure who she was. I don't know about you, but there's been times when I've traveled on a bus, the same route, the same journey, every day, maybe five days a week for months on end. Or on a train, even something like that, a tube or underground train. And I'd start to get used to seeing the same faces to a point where I start to think that I know them. And I've actually said hello to somebody in the street that I've seen on the bus regularly. And then I thought, I don't know who they are. There was one time that there was this lady and she had dark hair and she was nice. I used to see her and I just, we used to like look at each other and that was it. I'd be sitting at the back, she'd go and sit at the front, or she'd go and sit in the middle, see me, then go to the front, probably to get as far away from me as possible, I don't know. She didn't. I put my clothes back on and we just carried the journey on. And I saw her every, it was, wasn't even every week, like every day I mean. I used to see her on a Friday afternoon about four or five o'clock and I'm guessing the bus you know she was getting on from work get going home and I'd been to counselling I'd had a I had a counsellor who I was seeing not seeing romantically uh, otherwise I guess I would have said that my girlfriend I wouldn't have said it was a counsellor I mean, people don't normally introduce their husbands and wives in that way, do they? Oh, meet John, he's an electrician. Oh, that's nice. Oh, and he's my husband as well. Meet Jason, he does nothing. He thinks making recordings actually helps people. But there's no evidence of that. He makes them, he puts them online, and it looks like people are listening. But he doesn't know why they're listening. And there's people in Leighton, people in Wales, people in Scotland, in California, Australia, China, that are listening. Honestly, I don't, I don't know really 
most of the people where you know anything about the people that listen to my stuff that's on Grey Doom and Pooh now see if we can hear I know it's a wee but it was too quick for a boo he only really farts when he poos now he's drinking just in case you think he was licking himself clean doesn't make that much noise, just having a drink. I've got this metal, it's not a tray, it's uh, like a little water thing that I've attached. You can attach them in to cages, you know, inside, but I've got it attached to the pipe that comes from the radiator that goes all the way around the room, so it's not hot. But I've had to attach it and stick it basically, attach it really firmly to the pipe. Because all, all he does is he has to knock it over. Any bowl, You hear them in the background. It's gone going back to bed. He keeps moving his bag around. So he's got this special bag. It's his bag. It's a brown bag with like fluorescent green stripe, like really, like radioactive bogey colored. Stripe and it's his bag, it's, there's a, an old jumper of mine that he cuddles into and sleeps inside and it's full of his smell. It's his, it's like a comfort blanket kind of thing. For some reason he keeps moving the bag around the room. He's moved it from one side of the room to the other. And I don't know why. I've, a I've asked him, but he's a ferret and he doesn't talk. He squeaks. You know, like that. Let's me know when I tread on him. I don't mean to tread on him, I'm not saying that I, I'm trying to communicate with him by standing on him after it's an accident, but he has this tendency to just follow me around and try and trip me up. That's like a hobby to him. Some people like football, some people like tennis, snooker. You know, he, he likes to trip me up. I don't know why. Another thing he does is, if I'm, if I'm at the sink, whether we're in the bathroom or at the kitchen sink doing some washing up. I was going to say or whatever else I might be doing at the kitchen sink, but what else would I be doing? Making plans for the future? Daydreaming about lost opportunities? I don't know. It's not really much making a castle out of Lego. I mean, it's, I was going to say making a bowl of fruit out of Lego, making a bowl of fruit out of matchsticks. I prefer just to have a bowl of fruit, because it's fruit, isn't it? You can eat it. But I never, I never feel full up 
never really eat. The only fruit I really eat is bananas and it never really feels as if I've eaten when I eat a banana. Even if I have a banana toasted sandwich, which is one of my all my tummy's making some weird noises. A banana toasted sandwich is one of my things I quite like to eat. But this doesn't always fill me up as much as maybe I'd like it to. Anyway, as I was saying about the, I don't know the people that are listening to my stuff. You know, yesterday I had well, overnight 883 downloads of my new podcast on Podomatic. Who, who are they? Who are the people that listen to my SoundCloud? podcast or on iTunes I could see the statistics I could see that people from many different countries are listening and it shows the people that listen the most the people that are some people listening to you know, over a hundred sessions a month, which is quite a lot. I just, I don't have, I don't really have any contact with many of the people that listen to what I do. I get the occasional message sent to me on Facebook. Uh, thanking me for what I do and saying that these boring uh, boring sessions really are boring and you know it's, it's good because that's the point and it's nice to get some friendly feedback I don't get a lot though, I don't get a lot of many comments. I think it's possibly because I've been on Facebook for so long, I've been online for so long that maybe a lot of the people have that have left comments and have less left testimonials possibly feel that they're not going to leave anymore because they've already done it they might have done it seven years ago or ten years ago I used to have I used to collect testimonials I used to uh, every time I got a really nice something sent to me on my website or whatever I used to save it and I had hundreds and hundreds of them and I put it all into a like a document you know not a word document but a document that you could download you know for those that wanted to see what other people had said but I lost it it was on one of my it was all one of my laptops that broke and it's gone, I never it would be nice to be able to get it back but I have put a testimonial page on my website 
so and nobody's written anything yet apart from me I, I'm not saying like how wonderful I am I just did the first one just saying please leave a testimonial if if whatever if you want to it would be nice to get more uh, comments more maybe testimonials on the website people saying something nice that'd be cool I'd like that because I'm starting to think more long term in a sense of I've changed the website so many times I've had closed it down at times because I didn't have the money to keep it going then had to restart all over again and constantly been looking for better podcast um, website hosts and I've gone to WordPress I've used Wix I've used Weebly I've used Square I think it box or whatever I've, I've used Moonfruit I think was another one I've used so many different ones now you know I'm just I think I'm just going to stick with the one I've got and build upon that so I suppose if someone was to go on to the website for the first time and they look at the testimonials and they see that there's only me on there that has said anything it may look like nobody's ever said anything nice which isn't true But at the same time, I don't want to add what other people have said to me in private messages on Facebook or on Twitter or uh, YouTube or anything like that. Because then you can see that I'm the one that's posted it and it doesn't look legitimate. But if you post it yourself, then it looks well it looks real doesn't you know it's not something that I've made up myself although I would never do that anyway so I do I do find it interesting to it's not that I want to get to know my audience in a kind of don't need to know everybody's names and you know all that stuff but it'd be nice to kind of get to know a little bit because I've got the statistics you know I know that America is the the country that listens to me the most followed by England or the UK and then maybe Australia, Canada, New Zealand, Germany, France, Spain, Italy. Yeah, it's lots of different places, and then it gives me the tells me what the the, the top um, cities people that listen and actually it should say towns because it breaks it down to the towns you know it's uh, again America is usually at the top but it's not always so there's you know California and different places, you know, different parts of America, but also, as I said earlier, someone in Leighton, the 
that's listening to me uh, someone in Ireland but different you know different parts of Ireland different parts of the UK I just I find it interesting it's I suppose it's because it's, it's what I do this is what I do and I'm thinking about writing a book can you imagine the most boring book ever written maybe that's what I should call it the most boring book in the world maybe I should try and break the Guinness book world record of the most boring book ever you thought you know in history maybe but I have been thinking about maybe converting well not necessarily converting but doing the hypnotic buffets and doing like a year a yearly annual well, it would be an annual is yearly, isn't it? But you know, you know, like the old um, the books you'd buy at Christmas, and it'd be the annual for the year, and it would be, you know, what's happened throughout nineteen eighty three. You know, of course, that would be the year, wouldn't it? So, what I might do that. I might try and do a, an annual a hypnotic buffet annual and just go through some of the different topics I've perhaps talked about on my regular hypnotic buffets that I do every Monday. I don't know. I'd like to do something like that, but also can't be bothered. I can't, I can't be asked. It's terrible, isn't it? It sounds like someone might knock at the door, hopefully not. If they do, we'll just ignore it. What I'd like, I think, is somebody else to do all the work for me. You know, somebody to uh, promote me, somebody to transcribe what I talk about and maybe turn turn some of that stuff into books that appeals to me to have somebody else do the work I don't mind doing this part you know just recording talking That's the part that I I can do. But to have somebody who is able to turn this into something more than what it is. Because yeah, I know that eventually as all things grow this will continue to grow the, the audience will get larger I suppose as it has done and hopefully that is but it would be nice to be able to do something with this 
instead of just being some random weird man talking into a recording device and then uploading it onto the internet. I think it would be quite cool to do some, something more, I don't know, maybe go on tour or something, can you imagine that, coming to see me, let me bore you to sleep, live, and I'll just sit there. It'd have to be a comfortable chair, not squeaky like this one. Although this is fairly comfortable. And just talking into the microphone. And you'd all just be sitting there. I imagine thinking, hmm, what on earth is happening? I'm not even sure if it was, if it would translate on a stage. Because, I don't know about you, but when I'm recording these sessions, I do feel very relaxed and it is quite a calming experience. Even if my stomach is sending me signals to feed I'm going to have a banana toasted sandwich. You know what I'd like to do? I'd like to learn to enjoy eating peanut butter. Because then I could have a peanut butter toasted sandwich. I've always kind of wanted to be able to do that. with peanut butter I just I don't know I just think things that you eat should look different going into your body to the way they do coming out I just not yeah I like the smell of peanut butter especially the ones that have got peanuts in you know quite I know technically maybe all peanut butter has peanuts in because otherwise it wouldn't be called peanut butter maybe it'd be called something else butter I mean maybe prune butter fish finger butter I don't know I actually used to believe that prunes you know prunes um prune juice to make uh, the body empty itself, <laughs> empty it, you know, go to the toilet and stuff, but apparently I've seen it in, I've not seen it in action, I don't go to those websites, but I've seen um, prune porn, that's a bit weird isn't it? No, I saw this job I had as a care worker in a place and the nurse, one of the patients was constipated and the nurse gave the patient prune juice.
actually bored me as I was saying it. That's a thing, I think some stories I do. They need livening up, I think, sometimes. I know sometimes I'll just be talking to somebody and I'll get halfway through a sentence and I just lose interest. I lose interest in what I'm saying. I suppose, and there's also the, the conversational stuff that I'm not really so into these days. I do prefer just to talk at people about something that I'm interested in. And I think part of the reason for that is that I've not really met anybody that's interested in the things that I'm interested in. So I don't get an opportunity to really talk to people about it. Because sometimes I've, I've had conversations with maybe a new person. When I say a new person, I don't mean a baby. I mean a, someone that I've just met. And occasionally I've felt a little bit on trial, like I'm being interrogated. You know, asking question after question about hypnosis and I don't like being asked questions. You know, I'm, I don't like even being asked questions on a first date. I know that probably sounds bad. But I like organic knowledge. I like everything to happen naturally. So, I mean, it's it's been a while since I was on a first date. Or any date, I can't even remember what it's like to kiss somebody. I'm sure it must be quite nice because I used to want to do it. But I don't, I can't remember. It's been ages. I can't remember what it feels like to have human contact, you know. But I had this date, it was a blind date, it was like on a internet thing, internet app. And I met this person, she was nice and everything, but she just bombarded me with question after question after question about myself. And it was a bit, a little bit overwhelming, a little bit. And I think she was waiting for me to ask her about herself. And I didn't really have any questions. I felt a little bit like I was in a job interview. And you know at that bit at the end where they say, so, Jason, do you have any questions? I mean, in your case, they probably use your name, but do you have any questions? Bob, or whatever your name is. And the amount of times that I just forget. You know, when I was younger, I used to be quite cocky and say, yeah, when do I start? And few times that worked. Yeah. Me and my stomach. I think my stomach was so squeaky, Andre just answered. 
I think they're having a conversation between themselves, my stomach and Andre. So yeah, I remember job interviews. I had to keep reminding myself, don't ask about money. Don't ask how much you're going to get paid, even though that's one of the most important things to know. Don't ask what the male to female ratio is, because that could come across as a bit weird. Ask how many toilet cubicles are in the men's toilet. Although that really comes up. Don't ask about the disciplinary procedure. That's probably something not to mention in a job interview. I suppose you could ask about the air conditioning. I like to make sure that I'm able to open the windows if needed. Some some companies, offices, you know, they've got this thing where they say you have to keep the windows closed because otherwise the air conditioning doesn't work properly and I say yeah but the air conditioning doesn't take away my farts I need the window open for that otherwise my stomach's still playing up I don't know if you can catch that sound of my tummy rumbling it's not really rumbling when I think of rumbling, it's more like thunder. It's kind of like rumbling, isn't it? Like a rolling sound, like a wave of sound. This is more like a. I was going to say a falling cow, a cow falling off a cliff, but it's probably nothing like that. more like a little rolling something rolling down a little hill little hungry sausage shaped hunger pang with little feet maybe So yeah, I do think about if it'd be nice to maybe get to know people or get to know who's listening. So maybe if you want to leave a testimonial on my website, that's if you're still listening. That'd be really cool. I can get more of a sense of my audience and where you're listening. You may be listening on iTunes, you may be listening via my website, you may be watching on YouTube or Vimeo. 
You may be listening on Spotify or iHeartRadio or Podomatic or Spreaker or some podcast app, Podchaser or, you know, so many different ones. Lots and lots and lots of different podcasts online. So it'd be really cool just to find out who's listening. It's not really a request, it's just Just an idea, really. I like ideas. I like the full process that goes behind ideas, the energy. sometimes of an idea when you think about it everything every creation invention piece of art every building every bridge all the technology we have Everything started with an idea. Even toilet paper. There was definitely a need for it. I do kind of wonder what happened previous to toilet paper. I suppose you just have to do it in the bath. I don't know, really not sure. A way for it to rain and do it outside and stand on your head. I'm not sure. I just like the idea that thoughts can have a really positive effect on us, on you, on me, all of us. I find it quite comforting. think that, you know, we can feel relaxed and calm and spend this time together, sharing the energy, sharing the space, sharing the words, the calmness, sharing the relaxation with each other. When you think that you're listening to this, and you may be in Ireland or in London, and somebody else in America, in Arizona. listening to this, someone in Phoenix could be listening to this at exactly the same time that you are, and you're sharing an experience with somebody that you may never meet, but you have a common 
experience with somebody that maybe lives in South Africa or Canada because every time every minute of every day somebody somewhere in the world is listening to my voice statistically there's always somebody listening even if it's just me or Andre so we all have this shared experience something that we have in common something that brings us together there's many other things that can bring us together and I feel that maybe there's a a race of humans, a community, anything that brings us together, as long as it's safe and healthy, can be a really, really wonderful thing. in that opportunity to enjoy letting go and just relaxing safe just appreciate yourself I think some of the squeaky sounds and background sounds like the fridge coming on and switching off and maybe the central heating making a little bit of sound, Andre running to the paper to do a wee. My stomach let me know it's time for more food it all makes this feel more real Knowing that I'm just 
just a human being. We're all human beings. Sharing the same thing. I was going to say the same experience, but I guess we all experience things differently. You all listening to my voice, including me. time that you do hear my voice you can have more connection feel more connected with me with these sessions with yourself with those people around the world that are also sharing this experience safely feeling part of something at the same time feeling completely unique Remembering how special you are as a person. Remembering all of those amazing qualities that you have inside that maybe other people are not yet aware of. some talents that you've never expressed maybe some gifts and talents that you have not yet discovered yourself sometimes I think being alive can feel a bit like a treasure hunt and you find treasure and it's amazing this gift that you find and you realize that you're actually really good at something that you never realized you were even interested in before Maybe you can write poetry, or you can sing, you never realized, or maybe you can learn to play an instrument. Perhaps you have talents. things that you've never even thought about like in a treasure hunt you may search for these treasures but not know what you're going to find and those things that you do find may surprise and delight you allowing you to realize your own potential. Enhancing your ability 
to enjoy your life more deeply and being able to spend more of your time grateful for being the person that you are the loving kind person that you are speak to you soon lots of love